Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ, rwgresearch.com, and I'm feeling like a kid again. These rockets are so much fun. So I've been testing out some, oh the fan, I've been testing out some new plastic, uh, and this is uh, P-E-T-G, Pet-G, green some generic brand I don't remember. Uh, but what I thought was really cool, here's a test piece, what I thought was really cool is if you look, see if we can see this, alright you guys see those lines on the print, so there's one on this side, there's one on this side, and then there's one on this side, they're really hard to see, let's see if I can get these without the fan being too loud here. I'm not sure how the fan sounds. You can see those lines, all right, and they line up with the axes of this printer here on all three sides. So this is kind of a really cool way to kind of, I don't know, you could say um, get the resolution of your printer because you can actually see the lines that are going on. You should be able to get this with a Cartesian printer. You should be able to see the a similar thing here um, but yeah I thought it was pretty cool and interesting something just to share with you and once this is done I'll take it off and we'll get a better look at it yeah I guess I'll record this real quick though so you can see kind of what the resolution of the motor since they're directly driven those are 20 tooth pulleys you can see they don't they don't really move very far So the resolution is going to be all in that stepper motor and the steps driven at. Uh, in the bathroom again. So check this out. I just wanted to show you a piece of that. <clears throat> kind of fold it open. And you can see all the... There's one edge and there's a little center and there's an edge and a little center and there's an edge. So there's like six where there's a transition between the two motors and then where the motor is. It's rather interesting. It's kind of cool because you can unroll it. I don't know how well the light. I tried to get it up here so you could really see it, but the camera itself really throws the colors off. But there you go, a little bit. Anyway, doesn't doesn't show us good on the counter is what I can try to show you in my with my eyes. But yeah, you get what you get. Anyway. All right, it finished. Three hours and 38 minutes. No, that one, three hours and 20 minutes. I printed it at 10 millimeters per second, pretty slow. But I wanted to show you the, the fine detail of resolution. It's very difficult to see. So there's one. There's actually a little bit of a one there, and then two. I don't see much on that side but three so they should be aligned up with the axes I guess they are it's just there's some other some other details there from the other angles probably anyway didn't come off the bed very well but sure is cool now what I figured out is one of these blue lights really make this thing shine oh yeah so I got all the lights off check this thing out Oh wow, it's just so cool. The way it looks. I have printed the green spaceship. This is a Thingiverse print. I'll link it down in the description. But yeah, I love the way that that light makes this look and it's pretty cool because even from like way over here it really shines back it's just blue it's not actually the uh, actually actually it's not actually a um, UV light it's just blue but it's in that realm I just think that looks so cool Right? I think it looks awesome.
Anyway, enough said. Just thought I'd show you kind of something neat that you can see with the resolution. You should be able to see that in any circles. But because this has a smaller, bigger, smaller, it kind of gets to the point where this is what you'd see on a regular cylinder. But then you can kind of see the, you can kind of see that here, at least I can, right, as it goes up and down. Anyway, just kind of cool. All right, peace and love. God bless you guys. Have a good day. Man, that looks awesome. Make a good nightlight, huh? See ya.